What's going on, everybody? Yaiba, how's it? How y'all doing? Um, so pretty big day today. Lots of stuff to play through. I'm trying to get through all of it, as much of it as I can. I know two of them are RPGs, so that's going to take a little bit of time. Um, I, I was hoping GameStop was doing a midnight release, but they weren't, so I wasn't able to pick anything up there. Um, so at midnight, I was driving around town trying to find a Walmart that stocked anything. Um, I found one that had Final Fantasy X and X-2, so I got the limited edition of that. They also had Metal Gear Solid Five Ground Zeroes. I tried to purchase that, but I guess it got recalled for some reason. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, so I couldn't pick that up. Went to a different... And they didn't carry Yaiba, so that was kind of odd. But So I went to a different Walmart that I called ahead of time. They said they had Metal Gear, and they're, they'd look for Yaiba for me. Um, Apparently it was recalled there too, so I don't know if it's like a company-wide thing, I don't know what's going on. I f thought it was just a computer glitch at the, at the Walmart I was at, but anyway. So I, I was driving around for like two and a half hours. It was very frustrating. Um, got home, downloaded Ground Zeroes on the PS4, took like another hour to download, which I was trying to avoid. I was hoping that, that picking up a retail copy would be faster and it just didn't work out that way today. So. Downloaded Ground Zeroes, started the stream about 3 o'clock in the morning, which is three hours later than I wanted to, and beat Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes, I think by 4.30, 4, 4.30. It was not long at all. Very, very short game. Huge disappointment. That controversial ending wasn't even that controversial at all. It was not, it was, I don't know. I don't know what they're saying. There's two things that could have been controversial. One of them was unnecessary. The other one was something that I, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody so um i don't think it's worth the 20 dollars price tag i don't i paid 30 for it and because i went to the ps4 version i don't think it was that either literally it is two escort missions and that is it there's no boss fights there's no not really any excitement there's like a 20 minute cutscene at the end and a 20 minute cutscene in the at the beginning and then just like i said two escort missions that's it it's pretty short um i'm not gonna if you play Peace Walker, a lot of the characters from Peace Walker are in this. If you haven't played Peace Walker, you'll have no idea what's going on. So, And Solid Snake has a different voice actor. And I don't like Kiefer Sutherland. I think David Hayter did a much better job. Snake doesn't have that grisly voice anymore, which is just strange listening to. So, I don't know. Anyway, after that, after we finished Ground Zeroes, there's also some side missions, but it's like... It's really similar to the VR missions. Like, we did one of them. It took maybe 10, maybe 15 minutes to do. All you had to do was go find two targets and kill them, and then escape. That was it. And the other ones are very similar to that. And then there's collectibles, and then you have to do all that stuff on hard mode. So that is these 10 to 12 hours of side missions that Kojima was talking about. So it's an hour and a half long game. Everything else is just kind of pointless. The, the side missions have no relevance to the story at all from what I've played so far. <clears throat> Not worth the $20. Unless you're a huge Metal Gear Solid fan, honestly, I would say just watch a Let's Play. I'll put mine up very soon. Uh, probably not to... I don't know. We might put it up today. We'll see what happens. I could I could probably do it right now, actually. So, I won't edit it. How about that? We'll just put an unedited version of it up, and you guys can just watch that there. So, I'll just put the... I'll just highlight the beginning of my live stream. Because, like I said, it was pretty short, so... Let's have like 15 minute videos. I think it'll be like four or five of them. So have that up sometime today. I'll try to do that before uh, before I start the stream of Yaiba. Yaiba! I'm pretty excited about it. Um, anyway, so after we finished Metal Gear Solid, I started playing Final Fantasy 13. It looks like we're three hours and four minutes in at Kalika. I played Final Fantasy 10. Did I say 14 just a second ago? I meant 10. I don't, I don't, know, don't know where my head's at. Um, I played Final Fantasy X a long time ago, back when it, when it released, which according to this, it says 2001. I don't think that's right. That sounds like it was way longer ago than I, than I remember, but who knows? Maybe it came out in 2001. I have no idea. I don't remember any of the game. Like, I'm playing it, and this all the, some parts of it seem a little familiar, but overall it feels like a brand new game. Like, the characters look familiar, and there are certain cutscenes. I'm like, hey, I remember this part, but just vaguely. It's almost like a deja vu feeling. It's kind of odd. So, it's almost like a fresh playthrough for me. So that's kind of cool. I am enjoying it quite a bit. 
seems like the uh, people in the stream are enjoying it too. So I will be playing much more of that. I wasn't even anticipating picking that up. The only reason I did was because I, was it because I couldn't pick up anything else and I wanted something to play at midnight. So Something to get me from midnight till GameStop opened up. Which opens up here in about 30 minutes. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, head over to twitch.tv slash fliptrick uh, if you want to check out any of Final Fantasy X. We're also going to be playing Yaiba as soon as I get home. So the plan is to finish Yaiba all the way, jump back into Final Fantasy X for today, and then tomorrow just play Infamous as much as I can. Uh, we're going to get through at least one playthrough of Infamous 2. I'd like to do both. I spent too much time in Dark Souls 2, and that is really affecting my Infamous progression that I wanted to do. I wanted to do a playthrough of both games twice, and it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. I played Festival of Blood yesterday, and that was awful, too. I don't know what is going on with these small two-hour games that are just not delivering very well at all. But I am not... I have not been pleased with them. So, that's about it for now. I'm going to go get some breakfast. I've been streaming for like six or seven hours. So I'm going to go get something to eat, go pick up Yaiba, and then come back. So, hopefully you guys are able to check out the stream. If not, like I said, I will be putting my Ground Zero playthrough up. I'll tr I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll start that right now. As soon as this video goes live, I'll start editing that. and Well, not editing it, but putting it together. And getting that uploaded for you. So keep an eye out for that. Look forward to seeing you in the stream. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.